2024 was a crazy year for AI video generation. Like we went from this is definitely AI generated at the start of the year to actually needing a double take nowadays whenever something unreal happens. Some new deep sea fish, a UFO crash site, an AI influencer sneak promoting products, even AI generated Will Smith eating spaghetti now has built in sound effects attached to it. So yeah, just look at how far we have come in just two years. Even though it does create some cool new applications and most importantly, great memes, having it getting better is still not necessarily good news for all of us. Like, just look at this TikTok. I want to see where that is. It's clearly a, that it's like I've never seen something more AI than that. That's not real, Dad. You think that's real? Where is it? Hold on, where does it say? Listen. It's clearly fake. It's Would you be quiet so I can hear where it is and I'm going to look it up on Google Earth? It is getting strikingly difficult for a lot of people to know whether something is AI generated or not, especially with the increase in realism that these AI video generators can create. So as the good old saying goes, keep your friends close, but your enemies closer. For today, I'll give you a brief rundown at all the current AI video generators, what they are capable of, and how easy it is for you to get your hands on it. But before we dive into it, let me just share with you an RTX 4080 Super giveaway way sponsored by NVIDIA that I will be running during their GTC event between March 17th and 21st, 2025. During GTC, which is NVIDIA's annual flagship AI and developer conference, there will be various big announcements, events, and sessions you can attend both in person or virtually. This is one of the best times to learn from global experts on how generative AI is impacting industries and society as a whole. This includes virtual sessions where you can attend special training, live stream demos, and exclusive talk live streamed from the venue. With a wide range of topics like how to build an agentic AI blueprint using the best tools and frameworks hosted by the director of engineering from NVIDIA, and sessions by special guests like Accelerate Inference on NVIDIA GPUs hosted by the CTO of Together AI. So you can virtually discover the latest breakthroughs in generative AI and NVIDIA technologies from subject matter experts at GTC25. And by virtually attending these sessions, you can join my giveaway for an RTX 4080 Super. All you have to do is to take a selfie of yourself attending the live virtual sessions that are available during GTC, submit it down in my Google Forms, and boom, you can learn and possibly earn a GPU at the same time. And of course, the yearly banger keynote by the NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang will be happening on Tuesday, March 18th at 10 a.m. Pacific time. So definitely don't miss out on that. For all GTC sign up links, I'll also leave them down in the description, so go sign up now. And thank you, NVIDIA, for sponsoring this video. Right now, there is an insane amount of video generators on the market. We have Sora by OpenAI, Minimax by Hilo AI. Clean 1.6 by Quaiso, Pika 2.0 by Pika Labs, LTX Video by LTX Studio, Hunyuan Video by Hunyuan, Movie Gen by Meta, Cosmos by Nvidia, Ray 2 by Luma AI, and the list goes on. With OpenAI hyping up that video generators like Sora are the future of physics simulation at the beginning of 2024, by delivering this to everyone as a Christmas gift, I mean gift, VO2 published by Google DeepMind has instead given us a sneak peek at how an actual AI generated physics simulation could look like. While they didn't completely provide access to everyone, which may have helped them to cherry pick results, they did give invite only access to some people, not including me of course, to get a more third party view on VO2 and have them to share it with everyone. And even if the results are cherry picked, I have never seen such good physics interaction for a video generator. Like for this generated clip where this guy falls off the treadmill, even though there are still a lot of problems like how the belt interact with the guy when he just fell down, or the machine he fell on just suddenly turned turned on, the bouncing physics of the treadmill when he fell on feels really real. By the way, all the demos I show in this video are not official demos. And the same goes for this cartoon character skateboarding. Like if you look at the slow-mo of the first clip, the board just suddenly turns to the upside. But on the other hand, look at how the skateboard interacts with the staircase while going down, and how the character splashes when it hits the ground. This is by far one of the best physics interaction I've seen for AI video generators. And the first time I have to either slow down or look closer to find inconsistency in those physics interaction. And on the topic of consistency, this fake CS hoverboard demo is probably the most realistic generation I've seen. The camera work is just so natural, the background is oddly realistic from afar, even the zoom in are like MKBHD level of B-roll capturing. And that might not be by coincidence too, because some AI companies are now also buying unused clips from YouTubers with a rate between $1 to $4 per minute. So who knows how much new station are also making looking at how good 
good it is at literally generating fake news. As for content creators, things are getting a bit weird too. This one is generated by OpenAI Sora, and this one is from Hilo AI's Minimax, with them looking very uncanny. And what's special about Minimax is that it can also generate sound effects at the same time, and sometimes it result in some of the funniest things you will ever see. <laughs> On the other hand, it's currently one of the best AI at generating from an initial image as it understands the key subjects inside an image really well and can break them apart. So a lot of people have been generating images with Midjourney to get really high quality initial image and have these models to create videos out of it. So a lot of people have been using it to create some pretty interesting content and have them look really realistic because the authenticity of a video is much higher than an image. And a lot of people, like what you see at the start of the video, believe these videos are real. And in its latest update, it is now able to consistently generate a character and generate multiple scenes with multiple prompts at once. The only downside is that it's better when you prompt it in Chinese. But if Chinese is not a problem for you, another Chinese company called Kwaiso is also catching up with their Kling 1.6 that can generate some pretty nice sci-fi content, and also one of the best at doing initial image video generations. But the range of motion feels much more limited to still or cinematic shots. But for more stronger control or more unique effects, Pika Labs 2.0 video generator are pretty good at grounding content for more than just faces. And in their 1.5 model, it could make special effects like squishing, blowing anything up, and hydraulic press literally any subject within an image and turn them into videos. In the latest version, you can also add in anything from a picture. But so far, all these video generators I have mentioned are closed sourced, so you gotta pay them to use the generators and they get to keep their secret from everyone else. One of the strongest driving forces for development in the field is the open source models that are released for everyone to run for free. Free in quotation because not anyone can really run it as the hardware requirement can be hella expensive. And the alternative to that is renting GPUs. But anyways, the latest new model that came out is Cosmos released by Nvidia. This model is specialized in generating real life camera footage like a car's dash cam, drone cameras, or just any video related to robotics or autonomous driving or piloting. Their goal is to make a video model that can simulate the physical world and anticipate interactions between objects, while also reducing the cost of rendering through AI generation. Even though this sounds like a rather simple use case, they still released 13 technical models for the public to access, and a 75-page technical report analyzing the new techniques that the models use. But if you really want to learn how a video generation model is made that is not just focused on camera footage, Meta's Movie Gen shares with you the entire process of how to exactly make one from the ground up, which is really written on their 96 page paper. The models they publish can generate 1080p videos up to 16 seconds, but it is a bit old because it is published back in early October 2024. Yeah, that's a bit old in AI terms. So if you want quality, 100 video by 100 is probably the current best open source video generation model right now. Released in late November, along with a paper that has an architectural breakdown on its model, it's a 13 billion parameter model that requires around 16 GB of VRAM. It's just that one generation takes up to 20 minutes with the current optimization the open source community has made. So the faster alternative would be LTX Video by LTX Studio, which is a faster alternative where it can generate one second of footage in one second on an H100. And that's the thing about open source or open weights models. People can use what they want, fine tune what they want, and have control over what they want to develop. If you want to generate your car, you can generate one, given you know how to do that and have the hardware to do that on. Some people have even fine tuned it to make generations even more realistic. And that is the beauty of open source. But anyways, ever since the Will Smith benchmark is getting saturated as it is getting way too close looking like the official ground truth, it's funny how the table has turned where Google finally has a lead in one of the fields of AI. Maybe it was just a matter of time. And yeah, I hope you have learned lots about the current state of what video generators can do, whether it's free, paid, or invite only. And if you want to learn more about the research side of things, definitely check out my newsletter where I share the latest in the GFCS research papers that I might not have time to cover in videos. Definitely check out my issues breaking down Meta's movie Jen and Hun Yuan's paper if you want to learn more about them. And thank you guys for watching. A big shout out to Andrew Laschelius, Chris Ledoux, Deegan, Miguelim, Robert Zaviasa, Louis Muck, Ben Shaner, Marcelo Ferraria, Zane Sheep, and many others that support me through Patreon or YouTube. Follow me on Twitter if you haven't, and I'll see y'all in the next one.